Welcome to Rehash. Well, the internet for all news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. Hello, how are you doing? It's me, JD, and welcome to Rehash. Thank you so much to JD22292 Gaming. If you would like to be an awesome Bampy type person, make sure to rip the description open, click the link down below, and you guys can submit a Rehash you're, introduction. You're back to ripping descriptions. I, I, I can't help it. Just to let you know, that is how you get spotlights. That is how you get us to talk about your channel at the end of any of our episodes. Yeah. So, any comments that we get asking, Hey, can I get a spotlight? Can I do this and that? I I'm, I'm just going to look at those comments. I'm just going to be like, mm, You didn't watch the video. Mm. So you do newsy type whatever? I do have some newsy type whatever that I'd okay. like to discuss with the Freedom Family. Today I want to discuss McDonald's serving breakfast all day long. I wish I could sign up. I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family and you about a new MMO called Identity. Identity? Oh, Identity. So if you pirate that game, is it Identity Theft? Maybe. Alright. Then I wanted to discuss with the Freedom Family a fat guy on a mission. Hey. So, as some of you may have already noticed, I am repping my upside down McDonald's logo shirt. It's actually a parody shirt, W's for West Coast, but at any rate, I wore this shirt today because I knew I wanted to talk about this story. McDonald's is serving breakfast all day long, starting as early as October, all over the United States, hopefully going worldwide shortly after that. See, I've never been a fan of breakfast food, but McDonald's, I give it an exception. It's pretty good. Yeah, you know what? There's nothing better than like a McGriddle, like, <laughs> with, like especially if you're craving a McGriddle. Like, right. There is nothing that's going to satiate a McGriddle craving other than a freaking McGriddle. And it's cheap, so. I I'm personally actually a Burger King breakfast person. Yeah, I like, I, I a ham, egg, and cheese croissant. Oh. <laughs> all right, best thing in the world. But McDonald's breakfast all day long is the the, the next best thing. Um, and so I, I just thought this was a really interesting story. Hopefully, financially, this is going to be a really good thing for them, uh, and also hopefully create a few more jobs with people. Yeah, who have the nation. Yeah. And then uh, you wanted to talk about? I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family about a new game called Identity. Now what sets this apart is most games that are being made by small indie devs, I'm assuming this is a smaller indie development company, they normally go to Indiegogo or you know the, these other various websites that are already established and they're like, hey, give us money. But instead, they are doing this on their own, meaning that they're doing this on their website and they've already sustained over $180,000 out of the $250,000 goal. See, the thing about Indiegogo and GoFundMe and all of these, I feel a little bit safer. I agree. But I mean, for the most part, as a smaller indie development company who maybe posted a small, you know, Reddit post and is going viral right now. The thing is, I've, I've watched the video. If you'd like to watch the video, it's down there in the description. So go ahead and gently open it. Yeah. Um, and then... You can you can watch this video. So, and yeah, so I mean, for the most part, Identity is a modern day open world MMO RPG for PC and Mac with compatible or with complete freedom to do almost anything you can imagine at any time in first or third person views. You can have vehicles. So wait a minute, almost any. Can I sit? Yeah, you can literally sit. You can like completely build can your I house be, from scratch. Can I become like a criminal? Yeah, you can become a criminal. You can become a firefighter. You can become a businessman. Uh, they have what about a structures, cops, criminals. Can I become a dirty cop? Anything, yes. It, literally anything in the world. Now, that kind of scares me because I feel like development-wise, it would take forever to make a game like that, but they're almost at their goal and they just started. So, the thing that I like about this is the fact that it's almost in the bag at this point. They asked for $250,000. They're at almost $200,000 as we speak. And by the time this goes live, they could have possibly hit that goal um, because we are filming at 10 a or 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. And this will go live um, in about 22-ish hours. Yeah. So who knows what's gonna happen in that time. I, I, I like this. Honestly, I'm going to drop them $25 because I would like to be in on the ground floor or something. When it comes to doing YouTube, um, getting in before everybody else is going to help you out a lot. And $25 will get you early beta access. Yeah. And I just, in the back of my mind, I'm like, you know what? What if I would have gotten in on Call of Duty six months before everybody else? Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to make, you know, like say five or ten-ish videos when the game drops. Have five or ten videos already up on your channel. Already there on the ranked. Uh, yep. Search and when people are searching for it, they know that you're the guy! You are the man, and then you or get subscribers lady. And viewers and well, then, uh, and then I wanted to talk to uh, the Freedom Family. That would be you about a fat guy on a mission. Hey. 
So when I say fat guy on a mission, now I'm not saying, I, I'm not saying I think this guy is fat. Now, he may be a little overweight, um, but the, the, the news places that have picked this up are billing it that way. So that's why I'm saying that. I have nothing against fat people because I'm one of you, my home dogs. But anyways, so this guy, uh, who is Eric Heights. Eric Heights turned 40 and said, you know what? These extra pounds gotta go. So he decided he was gonna get on a bicycle and ride across the USA. You know, like some people have like New Year's resolutions and they never do them. But this guy, like he had a goal, he did it. He had 40. He's well, like, I'm he's he's not fully through yet. He's he's on he's on his way, making his way now on a bike. But, but what blows me away is most of us who say, hey, we're gonna lose weight this year, never even get on a bicycle, and he's already doing it. Like, yeah, so, totally. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and I, I have to say, you know, this guy has all my love, all my respect. Uh, link in the description if you want to read the full article and what made this guy decide to do this. It's actually a really interesting story, but in the interest of screen time, it's about all the time we can get in. So I guess that pretty much wraps up all of our yeah. stories, right? Yeah. So I guess it's uh, about time... The comments. Did somebody say the comments? I'm loving it. So comment number one, one comes from Random Gaming. Now before we actually dive into the comment, a few days ago, we covered a topic where a man was struck by lightning, then on top of that, won the lottery. And Anthony asked the Freedom family, what would you do with a million dollars? So Random Gaming said the first thing he would do is take a girl out on a date. That a specific girl that he like, no he, he just said this said a girl just a girl just any a girl, girl any girl like I, I, hey, hey no. more power to you <laughs> are you coming number two um yes actually I do have a comment uh, odd, oddly how that happens in the comment section right yeah it just comments everywhere mayhem mercenaries says I think you should upload a short video explaining Anthony and his freakout gift seen on Twitter. Actually, that video is already live. Um, it was part of the comments section on a previous rehash video. Uh, let's see a clip. All right. So, and then I have a comment here from, let's just choose randomly. Um, okay, here's one. From K4G, who says, oops, I messed up the pillow. Oops, I messed up the pillows. That, that's it. No. Comment number three comes from Black Panther. Pretty cool name, nonetheless. He says, O underscore O. I'm assuming that's like a, a face emoticon. He says, I'm on a rehash video, question mark, exclamation point. Nice! You're now you're on two! Hey, you're on a roll, man. And then, and then comment number four, I wanted to talk about Troll Gamer ESP, who says, good video, I loved it. Recommend the network friends. Nice. Also, speaking about network news, Freedom has now grown to include a CMS called Freedom 4. Okay. So that is definitely something that uh, is newsworthy. And also, dealing with this comment section, I wanted to put in a note. We are in need of specific types of comments going forward. Not for this section, but all video-wide. We need a lot of people saying first, second, third, fourth, <laughs> Fifth, not joking. We need these comments. N no other text in it. But we you'll find out why we need this later on. We also need a lot more other one-word comments like awesome, cool, spectacular, cheese, potatoes. Just letting Yay. you know that we need these and you'll find out what we need them for later. All right, and then now we get to talk about... Partner. Did somebody say? Oh no! Wait, we already did that joke. Crap! All right, now we can talk about the partner. Let's do it. So Rehash's partner of the day is JD Twenty Two Two Ninety Two Gaming. Wow, that's a that's a lot of numbers. But nonetheless, let's dive into the pros and cons of his channel. So the first con that I have for the guy's channel is is the logo and the banner. As a gaming channel, I feel like maybe it should have some gaming. It does stuff. kind of have a vloggy vibe to it. Right. I, when I first clicked, it, I was like, okay, this guy does vlogs. He does in real life videos. But no, he, he does a lot of gaming content. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I wanted to talk about his descriptions. A lot of good things going on in the description, but I would tell you, use a link shortener. Um, goo.gl or goo.goal uh, <laughs> is a great way to, um, to be able to do this um, and keep everything nice and tight so that your links don't get cut off. 
Um, we use a lot of short links in the description down below, uh, either through link shorteners or, or whatever. Sometimes with the news stories, we don't shorten those. So I guess we're a bad example, yeah. but Which one? Um, for things that you're going to use all the time, use a link shortener so that people, you know, they don't see that. When links get cut off, they just kind of look bleh. Right. And then last but not least, I wanted to talk about the guy's thumbnails. Some of the thumbnails are actually pretty good and then some of which aren't. Uh, I've noticed in some of the thumbnails, the colors that he's using, the text is so difficult to see that you have to like open the, the video up in a third party program and like stretch the thumbnail really large to even see the text and make out what it says. An example of a thumbnail template style that I'm not really a fan of. He has a game here called The Town of Salem and it's literally the same thumbnail every single time other than part one, part two, part three at the bottom. Now. You can do a lot of good things with branding in 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 doing this. You can just create a brand for yourself. Right. However, with the color palette, with everything that's going on, it just it's hard to notice in your subscriber feed. You know, the difference between episode one through five. Maybe I watched an episode, I have no idea what episode I watched the last time, and I skipped this episode. It's one of the reasons why Rehash's thumbnails are so drastically different, <laughs> but still very much the same from episode to episode. It's so that people know, oh my gosh, I haven't seen that one yet. So keep that in mind, and I want you to look at your thumbnailing, and I want you to figure out how you can implement something like that. So that things are drastically different, right. but still the same, with some of the you know very similar elements. Um, and also, I'm noticing that sometimes, like Zach said, it's hard to read text. Minimize text when, ev when at all possible. Text is great if it adds something that's not already in your title or your uh, descriptions. Um, just keep it minimal. Right. Uh, like yesterday's, we had one that was, we had the Indie Humble button, but that was because it was the logo. That was the only text in yesterday's thumbnail. And that was done for a very strategic reason. And I would suggest you start thinking a little bit more about the strategy there. Right. All right. Uh, that's really all. I mean, I, I think this is a, a decent channel. I think you've got a lot of potential. I think you just need a little bit of help with marketing. And that's what we've provided here. Yeah, so if you guys want to, go subscribe to him or go check his channel out and go spam with rehash. Even if you don't actually, ch you know, watch his videos even if you don't actually subscribe i just want you to go to his channel i want you to hit him up with hashtag rehash on his most recent video and i want to make him sorry that he even provided this intro yeah. i want you to have him tell everybody oh my god a hundred people showed up and they all spammed me with hashtag rehash it was horrible it might make his day though it was horrible, man. <laughs> All right. Well, that pretty much wraps everything. That's everything. Yeah, everything is done. All right. Well, I guess till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Bye, Freedom Family. Seriously? That was awesome. I really wish more people would do stuff like this. It makes me feel awesome and yeah, famous. That was the greatest song ever. All right.